Um, it's officially been six days since I tore ligaments in my ankle. So it actually happened on Tuesday of last week at 10.40 p.m. And the reason why I know this is because as soon as it happened, I texted my girlfriend and I said, I think I broke my ankle because that's what I actually thought happened. Thankfully, it didn't happen, although this feels a lot worse than when I did break my ankle. So it's been a struggle, I'm not gonna lie. Um, during this time, I have had the most anxiety I've had in a long time because it just, it's a mind game because mentally I'm just like, damn, this is completely backtracking everything that I've been working so hard for. And I am full of anxiety, just riddled with anxiety. I have had breakdowns. Um, I have been bored. I have felt like, wow, what's the point? I have my food addiction, my binge eating just has been super prominent. I don't know, like in the last few days, like I've just been <laughs> so hungry like it has been like emotionally it has been physically it's just been it's been hard um obviously i don't really have an answer for this because right now i'm just kind of struggling i like feel hardcore guilty about it i haven't weighed myself because i physically can't even step on the scale because my scale is pretty platformed um and it kind of wibble wobbles so i do not trust myself to step on that currently plus i know so I find myself being told that I'm lying a lot or contradicting myself a lot, which is a super struggle because it's like, that's not what I'm trying to do here. It's just like memory relapses. Me not being able to trust people, like massive paranoia. Like I, I'm a very paranoid person. I know like me being bipolar, me being bipolar also is kind of like, it runs in the family, honestly, but you know, like depression. I just feel like a lot of my bad things about myself or things about myself that I want to change um those are definitely from my traumatic childhood for sure and it just like kind of breaks my heart when people are like super cruel when it comes to these things because it's like okay yeah you're being cruel to me as a 30 year old woman but it's like you're also being cruel to that seven year old girl who had to witness the things that she did Oh, and BT dubs. Um, I'm doing a book read along. I don't really know if I should call it a book club. Hold on, let me adjust. My ankle's hurting. On Instagram, I'm doing a um, book read along moment. It's hard to call it a book club. It's not gonna be like conducted like one currently, but we are reading The Cellar by, oh my God, I forgot what it's called. I will put a photo here, but this is what we're reading. Um, there is trigger warnings for it. So definitely look those up, but we are as a community going to start reading this book on the 24th. So I'm gonna try to have this video up before then so you guys know and you can read along. So on Instagram, I'm going to set like goals, like be at this page by said date. So then as a community, I can ask you guys questions about it and we can kind of like discuss it through my story on Instagram. It's, it's more so like a read along, let's discuss it type of deal. Um, so yeah, you guys should definitely join and do that. This has completely made it's kind of in a way it feels like a version of what could be said as a rock bottom i'm just finding that my rational side which is amberlynn you have reached a point where it's like okay if cancer wasn't it is this it like are you gonna lose the weight quicker now? Like I've lost 100 pounds in a year, so we need to like celebrate that, but I just feel like we're kind of not. We're kind of skipping over the fact that I have lost a large chunk of weight. I have lost one fourth of what I my goal is to lose, and that's 25%. I feel like that's a lot of weight, like in a year especially. Um, okay, so, there's my rational side versus my 
mentally ill side if you will my eating disorder side where it's just like all I can think about is food I just want food because I'm, I'm bored and I'm sad and I need something to make me feel better so it's like I have these two sides that are currently fighting just back and forth with each other and sometimes this side wins and sometimes this side wins it kind of feels like the angel and the devil on your shoulder type deal but every day with my girlfriend we love each other more our connection gets stronger we get more comfortable with each other especially me on my end like it's so hard for me to get comfortable with somebody obviously like it took so long for her to like see my legs in person because it's something i'm super self-conscious about you guys like a lot of you want me to be like unhappy in my relationship a lot of you want me to stay fat it's a lot it's weird um i can see past the condescending tone trust me i i could see your guys's passive aggressiveness like i'm not stupid and it's funny because the person who wrote that is actually a old woman so i'm sorry you're a very bitter old woman <laughs> just saying and i wish nothing but the best for you um i think it's time you need to find some love because if you're happy and if you have love in your life if you're giving it receiving it you just wouldn't ask things like that you wouldn't okay anyways i i knew this was gonna get kind of like heated in some points because that's just how it goes you know the comments under my anything is is always just pretty vile um it's a phenomenon, if you will.